Today we are going to learn the three basic rules of Monday training. So the first rule is you always set a date. Here you can see one of my boards and I have all of the dates set. This is the first rule. You always want to set a date. Before I explain more of this, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have you check out these workspaces. Um, you should open up Monday and actually follow along. So go ahead and pause this video, open up your Monday, put it on one screen, put this video on the other screen or split your screen and that way you can follow along. So you're gonna to go to your workspace. If you don't have a workspace, let us know. We'll find you a workspace or we'll create a workspace for you. And then under here, you're gonna have a bunch of boards. Let's say you wanna create a board. Uh, the first time you use Monday, let's say there's a lot going on and you need to just get a handle on it, right? So I call this the priority uh, template. So you're gonna go to add over here. You're gonna go down to choose from templates. Monday has a ton of templates you can pick. You can check them out. Uh, some are pretty cool, some might work for you well. I've created two basic templates here. One is a priority board and one is a basic board. So let's say you have so much to do, you need to get your priorities straight. I like to just start throwing up the tasks that I can think of. So you use this template. We'll, uh, we'll just create that. All right, and now the board is created. You can start adding stuff. I've already created a board, so I'm just gonna go over there. So let's say uh, the roof collapsed or something happened terrible, right? And so we kind of set some things down that we would have to address. So one, we should probably contact William. I went right here and I set this as a critical priority and I set it for today. Uh, you don't want this to turn in a, into a to-do list. This is more a project list, right? So keep that in mind, but this would be a project to clean everything up. So I'm gonna set that as critical and the timeline is today. And again, you always set a timeline. There are rare occasions when you don't need to set a timeline, but when in doubt, set a timeline. Um, let's say you don't know what timeline you want to have actually, right? So what you can do then is, let's say um, for rebuilding, we may start in July, let's say. So we could just put a timeline where we want to be reminded that we need to start doing this. So if you don't know when you can start on it, if it's like a project that's due within three months, still set a date. Again, always set a date. The value of setting a date right here, um, actually before I move on, I should talk about this priority list. The value of this priority list is we can actually set the priority and we can sort this. So we can go ahead and sort column by priority. And so if you have 40 things that you just need to get a grasp on, throw them in a board like this, sort them by priority, set some dates, you know, even if they're dreams, you can always readjust the dates at a later time, but at least we have those. Like I was just saying, the value of this timeline comes into the uh, My Work tab. So you set this timeline, we go over to My Work, and here you can see what is due every day. So Contact William just showed up here. I can go ahead and click Done once that is done. I can do it on my other board as well. Um, but as you can see here, everything I needed to do today, at least on Monday, got done. And you can see who did it. Clea did half of it for me today. Um, so you can also see who participated in that project. You can see this week, you can see next week. One of the really cool things um, is you can actually see the past dates. And this is kind of fun to review. I scroll through this every once in a while to make sure something didn't fall through the cracks. You know, there are still some things we're working on and waiting on that are taking longer than anticipated. Uh, but this also shows you what you do, right? So for instance, April, all IT, right? So it's a good kind of history that uh, you build while you're building these projects as well. Um, so let's close the past dates. Okay, let's go back to our board here and let's take a look at it. So the first rule, always set your dates. I can't say that enough. Second rule is how do you get a hold of people? So let's say I need to contact somebody here. I'm just gonna contact myself so I don't give anybody any notifications. When somebody adds you to a board, you can one, set it to get emails. You can turn those emails off if they get annoying, or there'll be a little one over by these notifications. So every day you should click on these notifications and you can go through all of those. So again, if you need to add somebody to a board for them to do something, notify them. And then after you notify them with this, uh, adding to the board, you set a timeline, right? So if I need something from, let's say Shauna, I could say, hey, are you able to get this done in the next two days, right? And she'll probably say no. And then she can go ahead and she can edit this, right? Or we can actually have a conversation within here. So I could go ahead and say at, again, I'm just gonna at myself here. 
And I say, um, can we make this happen? And uh, the another part of knowing how to contact people is you always want to at the person, no matter what. Always at them, just to make sure they get it, right? Uh, if you're just making a note to yourself, you don't need to at anybody. Uh, once this goes out, I can reply to myself. Um, let's see here. Say, now, this type of thing takes two weeks. And then they can reset that timeline, and then they can reply to me. Again, always at the person. So the two rules for contacting people is if they're on a project, or getting their attention, I should say, is add them to the uh, item, or you can send them a message and add them if they don't need to work on the item. So if you just need approval for something, they don't do the work on there, you can just go ahead and send it um, via this message board. So this is a little bit different than emails, but it replaces the long project emails. And the nice part is you can add multiple people to a project, as you can see in this My Work section, everybody who is in on all of the projects. So that is a very handy tool, and then they can uh, help you out with stuff when they have time. Another feature that you should know, um, why don't we have those? Oh, that's because that's, huh, there's supposed to be a plus here. There, there's a plus. I'm going to have to make sure that goes on the template, but there'll be a plus here. You can add numbers, you can add drop-down menus, you know, so you can add totals if you have costs or receipts or things like that. Um, so we're working on some other solutions. Another really valuable thing about this timeline is you can go to the Gantt chart, and you can actually see how long a project has taken, what were the steps that went in, uh, when those things were completed, and you can go through this entire list. So this is a very good tool. Um, it also can show what you've accomplished, so that's kind of nice. A, another cool element is overall organization. So I've kind of organized this based on my priority list here. So let's say I go ahead and grab this. I can actually move this up and down within my priorities. So every two weeks probably, I kind of reassess this. So if I scroll all the way down here, you're going to see the projects that are done or just kind of on hold, right? Um, and then I have the more relevant projects to the top. So that's just kind of a good sorting mechanism for you. Okay, so we got rule one, always set a date. I've said it a million times now. Rule number two, how to get attention. You either add them to the board or you contact them. And the final rule is that Monday is basically a fancy Excel. So if you're going to build something in Excel, build it in Monday. There are a few exceptions, kind of like there's a few exceptions to the dates, but typically you want to be viewing, uh, building this in Monday so people can collaborate with it on you. Um, you know what I'm saying. Okay. And then um, you can even export this to Excel. So here is a, a project that I've exported to Excel. And you can see how nice and beautiful it is. You can edit it. You can change all the words. So it's really a great tool. If you have questions, let me know. But that will do it for your first training video.